I'm here today in Harlem, as you can see, with breaking news. Now, today we're going to find out about something called boy power. I know what you're thinking. I can see it. I even know what the squirrel is thinking. What exactly is boy power? That's what's being talked about at the church. And we're going to find out. But right now, we're going to the basketball court to find out exactly what's happening at the basketball court. Take it away. That was a good basketball game. Glad everybody could come out and have fun. Wow. I had a lot of fun. Did you? Oh, and Marvin, you lost the basketball game. How do you feel, guy? Yeah, I, my team won. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, it, it's, uh, well, let's see. Maybe I can choose another team that can beat Marvin. Uh, I'm not afraid. And, you know what? Um, hey! I got something to tell you guys. Hope everybody's listening. You listening? Let me tell you something. Um, Youth Pastor Emmanuel said something about boy power. What could that be? You know, Calvin? Uh, what's boy power? Maybe it means to be strong like me. Well, what do you think? Ah, uh, gonna find out. Calvin, this is a Delray. And I know all about boy power because I'm a boy. What do you think? Yeah, hey, I know somebody who actually knows about it. That's you, Pastor Emmanuel. <laughs> Marvin, you wanted to know. This is how you find out something from Youth Pastor Emmanuel. You do like this. <gasps> hey, Youth Pastor Emmanuel! Tell me about boy power! I'm a boy, and I'm powerful. Oh, wow. You're asking me about boy power. Boy power is something that we're talking about here at church, and I'm glad that you guys are finding out. Now, it doesn't mean that you're stronger or faster or taller than somebody, or that you can fight better. That's not boy power. It starts with Joshua 1.6. It Joshua 1.6 says this, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land. I swore to their ancestors to give to them. Now, I just that's all I want to talk about. Joshua was the next person to take over the nation of Israel after Moses died. He was given two commands by God to be strong. When you're strong, and what God was talking about was to prevail against all situations and not to let situations overtake you. In other words, if something doesn't work out for you, just don't sit there and be sad, but allow God to lead you by His Spirit and guide you as to what to do. We take over situations by following God's direction that he gives to us, and we never, never give up. Joshua is also told to be courageous. That means to be brave and bold. Basically, what that means is to be determined to see something all the way through. For example, for example if you're working with something and you want to make sure it's finished, if you don't understand, another example is, if you don't understand something in school like math or reading, you study hard to make sure that you can understand it. That's what it means to be courageous. Being bold means 
not being afraid of doing new things and to be determined and also to make oneself aware of how God is moving in your life. Well, that's the boy power thing today. Be strong and courageous. Oh, look, guys, continue playing basketball. Hope you guys have a great time. Thank you, youth, past, youth pastor Emmanuel. But everybody's getting scared because there's a cat up, like, up here at the basketball court. I'm a little scared myself. They say this cat can fight anybody. It's an alley cat. Oh, Marvin ran home in a Delray. He's nowhere to be found. You think I can be bold and courageous and fight the alley cat? Well, I'm not sure because the alley cats are always mean. That's what happens here in New York. Uh, you think that's the right thing to do? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, that's the alley cat. I'm not scared. Ah! No! No! Hey! The alley cat scratched me! No! But I wasn't scared. I'm going to tame the alley cat. See you next week!